Hi, I'm Ashley James with your WMAR 2 News update. Monday marked the deadliest day of the coronavirus outbreak in Maryland with two dozen deaths reported just yesterday. 91 people have died and more than 4,000 people have tested positive for the virus. Among the hardest hit places is the Pleasant View Nursing Home in Carroll County. On Monday, the Carroll County Health Department reported that four more residents at that nursing home have died. That brings the death toll just at the Pleasant View Nursing Home to 14 people. Also, four more staff members from that facility have also tested positive for COVID-19. So now 31 staffers and 79 residents have been infected there. Across the state, more than 80 nursing homes have reported outbreaks. That includes Hartfield's Assisted Living, which is in Frederick. Officials there have confirmed one employee and one resident have died from the coronavirus. Test results are pending for another resident and six more employees there. Dozens of state legislators are calling for more information to be released on exactly who is getting sick from the virus. Delegate Nick Mosby sent a letter to Governor Larry Hogan with the support and backing of 80 other House members. They're asking Hogan to release information based on race and zip code in categories such as number of positive tests, number of hospitalizations, and number of deaths from the virus in order to further understand whether certain races are being impacted more by the coronavirus than others. On Monday, Baltimore City Council President Brandon Scott introduced legislation during a virtual city council meeting asking for similar data for Baltimore City. A spokesperson for Governor Hogan said they have received Mosby's letter but did not say if they would be releasing that information he requested. And several small business owners in our area are suing Bank of America for what they say are discriminatory loan practices. Nearly $350 billion began flowing to small businesses across the country on Friday as part of the stimulus plan approved by Congress. But some small business owners who applied for those loans with Bank of America say the bank put unlawful restrictions on the loans to give preference to certain customers. Now several small business owners have come together to file a class action lawsuit asking a judge to make the loans fair to everyone. WMAR 2 News reached out to Bank of America for comment, but was told the bank would not comment on pending litigation. And right now there is a major blood shortage across the country. Starting today, the University of Maryland Medical Center and University of Maryland Baltimore will be holding a blood drive every Tuesday for the next four weeks. Today's drive will run from 8 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night at UMB's SMC campus on West Lombard Street in Baltimore. The other drives will be held April 14th, 21st and the 28th at that same location. They will be running from 8 until 2. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Tuesday, everyone. On this Tuesday, we are tracking some showers and some thunderstorms. So I hope you enjoyed yesterday's beautiful weather where we had lots of sunshine and temperature topping off at 70 degrees. The showers and thunderstorms that we are looking for today could be on the strong to severe side. And then we're watching and tracking a cool down as we head in the next several days once that cold front moves through. In the meantime, we do have that severe weather outlook for today and the Storm Prediction Center does have us in a slight risk. That's the area here shaded in the yellow coloring that's for the entire viewing area as we head into the afternoon. That will be the best time that we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms to turn severe. And if it does happen, the biggest threats will be damaging wind, also some hail, and I can't rule out the chance for an isolated tornado, although that chance is going to be on the low side of things. Once again, that timing will be in the afternoon overnight into tomorrow morning, and this is the timing as we can see it on the future cast. So by the afternoon around three o'clock, four o'clock, we'll start to see some thunderstorms again, and then and that next round comes in as we head tomorrow morning that moves through the area and then we could see another little round as we work our way in through eight o'clock tomorrow morning as well. So a few rounds of the severe weather is a possibility as we head towards your Thursday, more showers in the forecast and we really don't start to dry things out until we head towards Friday and also the first part of the weekend. But once again, today will be mild with some showers and thunderstorms, high temperatures coming in the upper 60s, so very close to temperatures what we had yesterday. But as we head towards Wednesday, Again, morning showers and thunderstorms. That temperature before that cold front moves through close to 80 degrees, Ashley. And then we will cool down as we head towards Thursday and also Friday. All right, Lynette, thank you. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction. 